Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Visual Studio. Our viewer is facing a challenge with their Windows app, which consists of multiple projects targeting Windows 8.1 and .NET 4.5. They need to know if it's possible to reference a Windows 8.1 project from a .NET 4.5 test project without starting from scratch. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In this scenario, you're trying to reference a Windows 8.1 project from a .NET 4.5 test project. Unfortunately, .NET 4.5 projects cannot directly reference Windows 8.1 projects due to framework compatibility issues. One potential solution is to retarget your test project to .NET 4.5.1 or higher. This allows for better compatibility with Windows 8.1 projects, but it may require some adjustments. If you decide to retarget, ensure that all your NuGet packages are compatible with the new framework version. You may need to reinstall them to avoid any issues. Alternatively, if retargeting is not feasible, consider creating a portable class library, or PCL, that can be referenced by both your Windows 8.1 project and your .NET 4.5 test project. Lastly, if you encounter issues with async calls after retargeting, ensure that your async methods are properly defined and that you're using the correct libraries for async functionality. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To reference a Windows 8.1 project from a .NET 4.5 test project, start by right-clicking on your solution file in the Solution Explorer. Then select Add and choose Existing Project. Once the project is added to your solution, you can easily add a project reference. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To reference a Windows 8.1 project from a .NET 4.5 test project, check the project file for any unusual references. You can manually edit the project file using a text editor. For more guidance, there's a helpful link discussing how to edit project files in Visual Studio. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.